Will Smith and Jada Pickett Smith, they're having a difficult time with their finances. It is so bad. They're losing so much money, so much so they're laying off workers. As much as 50% of their workers have been laid off because money has gone down significantly. You know, after what happened during the Oscars, when was that? Was that, that was not 2022, right? Is it? Well, I think it was 2022 after 2021 because there were no Oscars during the pandemic. I think it was 2022, but it might be 2021 or 2022. I don't remember exactly, but I know it's been over a year when that happened. And we know what happened with Will Smith. He went ahead, slapped Chris Rock. There was backlash after that. He was banned from the Oscars for 10 years. Most people blamed uh, Jada Pickett Smith because Will Smith initially was laughing at Chris Rock's jokes. Then when he looked over at his wife, she had this big frown on her face. So he was like, oops, keep my wife's name out of your mouth. We will always remember Lupita's face. He was like, oop. <laughs> Anyway, so after that happened, apparently his managers and most of his people told him, you know what? This too shall pass. Just give it time. People will get over it and hopefully Chris will come around and all will be well. Well, it's been over a year. Now we're getting into almost two years actually. And things haven't changed. In fact, things have been getting worse for the Smiths. And I saw a report that Will Smith is fed up. He just might leave Jeddah. I mean, I don't believe the report, but I also saw some YouTubers, at least I watched one YouTuber do a video on it. I actually saw, what's her name? Cheryl's world. She actually did a video on that saying that, um, not Cheryl, Cheryl's, <laughs> I said Cheryl's world. Cheryl's world did a video that some of her sources that she has, the people she knows were telling her Will Smith is sick and tired of Jeddah. And then he's been seen with another woman who pretty much looks like Jeddah, except that she has bigger hips and you know, she has more flesh on her bones or not flesh. <laughs> She has more meat on her bones than Jeddah. But anyway, let's get to the story. So Will Smith is one of the richest actors in Hollywood. They were making so much money. They created an entertainment company or, or a media company by the name of Westbrook. They were bringing in money consistently year after year, at least over $150 million. Imagine. I didn't even know Will Smith and Jada were making that much money. $150 million a year year from their media company. Their media company was also producing Red Table Talks on Facebook, right? They also did the movie I Am Legend by um, Will Smith. They also own all these reruns that we see of Bel Air, Fresh Prince of Bel Air, which Will Smith was in, is also owned by Westbrook, which is Will Smith's media company. They had a lot of contracts, you know, doing projects here and there with, you know, streaming companies, Amazon, Netflix, all those big companies. And they were trying to produce even bigger movies. They were growing so big that they were thinking of extending internationally. They went ahead and even acquired um, a company in Germany, a media company. So they saw their media empire just explode exploding until that Oscar night when Will Smith decided to slap Chris Rock. The biggest mistake Will Smith has made in his career. They've been waiting, thinking this too shall pass. Will understands that people love him. Will was told by his managers that you're not a problematic movie star. So, you know, people will forgive you, but it hasn't happened yet and it's starting to affect them financially. Being such a big movie star and living such a lavish life like they do, it costs money. You know, it's not like us who are paying 5,000 here, 3,000. I mean, their life is more than our yearly paycheck in just one month. But anyway, so 
There is this company known for acquiring smaller media companies. For example, Reese Witherspoon, she had a media company by the name of Hello Sunshine. They produced series for HBO, I believe. They did a series that I really, really liked. It had um, Nicole Smith and other prominent actors. It also had, is it Zoe or Zoe Kravitz? That girl is a very good actress. By the way, she just got engaged, but that's not the point. That was a very good show because she produced so many good shows. Reese was able to sell her media company for one billion dollars. I didn't know Reese is that rich. She sold her smaller media company to a bigger company that, you know, their business is acquiring smaller media companies. And this business that acquires these media companies is known as Kendall Media, I believe. Then Will Smith and Jada also got into talks with the same media company that acquired Reese Witherspoon's media company. They were looking to sell their company, Westbrook, for a billion dollars. The slap came, the deal fell through. First of all, the media company tells them, your company is not even worth a billion dollars, it's worth $600, but $600, no. <laughs> it's worth $600 million, not the billion dollars they were asking for. But even at that, because of what Will Smith's name is known for, right now when people talk about Will Smith, all they are thinking of is the guy who slapped Chris Rock. And I know most of you may not think of it that way, but that's what he's become. And that's what the media company said. We don't want anything to do with anything that has Will Smith's name. They wanted to sell it for a billion dollars. Then the media company says, no, it's actually worth 600 million. And then they were like, okay. And the company said, even at 600 million, we don't want it anymore after the slap. Like, it was done. We know what happened to Jeddah's Red Table Talks. Um, Facebook decided to stop. It's not that they canceled her specifically because of what happened with Will. Well, that's what they say. But I think it had something to do with it. They decided to just get rid of that whole section of Facebook that dealt with shows. They were making a lot of money, apparently millions of dollars from that Facebook watch. They lost that revenue stream from Facebook, right? All these other small deals they had with companies. Um, you know, Will Smith was making a lot of money from YouTube deals and sponsorships, uh, TikTok sponsorships. He was heavy on TikTok, also heavy on YouTube. It's because he was earning a lot of money. All those videos we were seeing on TikTok and YouTube were being produced by his media company, Westbrook. Those sponsorships left. Not only were they producing his videos, they were producing videos and shows or in cooperation with other media companies. The other media companies dropped them. All the talks they had for producing shows, they were dropped. Commercials or ads that they were supposed to produce, they were dropped. And we know what happened to Jeddah's book, right? Last year, Jeddah came out with a book, went on a book tour talking about her and Will Smith had been separated for seven years she did all of that to promote the book and the book pff, flopped all of that was under their media company ever since that slap they've just been seeing their revenue sales obviously profits just going down 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 no one wants to work with them 2021 they made 170 million in 2022 they went down to a hundred million that hundred million is coming from things they had already signed deals for so those people could not back out now they are having difficulty getting deals because of that they've decided we have to cut down on our staff 50 percent of their workers at their media company Westbrook gone. 
they've been laid off guys. This must be hard. And then their CFO is not there anymore. He is gone. They can't get deals anymore. I think that is what is making Will Smith angry. I did this for this woman. Now look what my life has become. Those were reports. So everything in this video is allegedly we don't have facts. We were not there. So what do you guys think of the Smith's business? Obviously not their personal life because we don't know but you know their personal life they get the money from the business and fund their personal life right now their personal finances are good they're still millionaires they're still very rich but their business is going down anyway guys thank you so much for watching our video don't forget to share like subscribe until the next one bye